starting with the gracious name of Allah Almighty. Dear students, Assalamu Alaikum. I welcome you to Army Public School PMA Resource Network. Before we start our today's lecture, please subscribe this page and click on the bell icon. In our today's subject English language, we will study Unit 4, that is, World Weather. And in English Literature, we will study the Chapter 4 of the novel, Swiss Family Robinson. Students, it's week 8. And I am your teacher, Samia Khatun. Let me tell you that this is the combined lecture of English language and literature. And we would be starting with English language first. We are going to see Unit 4, that is, World Weather. Before going into the details of today's language lesson, we should see its learning objectives first. So here are the learning objectives. First, to read the passage carefully and underline the words describing weather. Second, to locate Tabernas on Atlas. Third, to use an atlas again to identify the following cities on the world map. The cities are Berlin, Cairo, Cape Town, Rio de Janeiro, Kuala Lumpur, Sydney, New York and Karachi. Number 4. Maintain your weather chart for this week and mention the daily weather in it according to the given format. Students, our lesson 1 is Flowers in the Desert. This is a reading comprehension. You have to read the passage carefully and answer the questions given at the end in the next slide. So let's start the reading. Tabernas is a small town in southeast Spain, about 35 kilometers from the city of Almeria. It's close to the only desert in Europe, and the climate is very dry. However, last week the people there had a big surprise. When they woke up, it was raining. They were so surprised because it hardly ever rains in Tavernas. But the really big surprise came this morning. The desert around the town was full of beautiful white flowers. They were moving gently in the light morning wind, with the sun shining on them, giving the people of the town an amazing view. These flowers are very special because this is the only place in the world where you can see them. And they are special for another reason too. They only appear in the desert when it rains in the months of December, January and February. The mayor of the town said, We are always happy when it rains. We need water here, but it's really special when the desert is covered with a carpet of beautiful flowers. We don't see them very often. We call them our snow because of their color. The flowers need water and sadly they can't live for a long time without more rain. However, even if the people of Tavernas see them for just one day, it's an unforgettable experience. You can also see the pictures here, students. 
Picture number one is before the rainfall in the desert and picture number two is after the rainfall in the desert. You can observe the white flowers here which are called the snow by the people of Tabernacle. Students, we have just seen the paragraph in detail. Now let's come to the comprehension questions. Question 1. What two rare events happened? Question 2. Why is it very difficult to see the flowers mentioned in the article? Number 3. Did it really snow? Explain your answer. Number 4. What kind of weather is the writer hoping for? Give reasons for your answers. Students, you can read the comprehension passage once again at your home and then write down the answers of these four easy questions. You can use loose sheets for writing your answers. Now let's come to our next written work. Here is a table for you. You can see some cities here. Temperature along with the weather symbols are also given in the table. Now let's see what is your task in this table. Question 1. Locate Tabernash on Atlas. Number 2. Use an atlas again to identify the following cities on the world map. Cities here are Berlin, Cairo, Cape Town, Rio de Janeiro, Kuala Lumpur, Sydney, New York and Karachi. You have to uh, locate these cities on the atlas. Then question number three is can you find out what the weather is like in the cities given on the world map on page 48 by just reading their temperatures. Students, you can see that the temperature of each city is given along and your task is to guess the weather of the cities from their temperature. You can also take the help from the weatheric symbols along the temperature. Now let's come to our lesson 2 that is local weather. It's also your written work. In this work what you have to do is Make a chart of daily weather forecast in your city. How will you make the weather chart? Here is a sample of weather chart in front of you. You can see the days of the week in this. Point number two, maintain a daily log and check what the weather is like at least twice a day in your city or you can check the daily forecast on the internet. So students, you can listen to the local news or you can search the weather of your particular area from the Google. Check the weather at least twice a day and write down the weather report in the given days. If you are creative enough, you can draw the symbols of the weather also. I will show you the symbols of the weather in the next slide. It's time to see lesson 3, my favorite weather. Students, it's your basic creative writing. How will you do it? Let's see these points. Write a short paragraph on my favorite weather. In short, your paragraph include the following points. A. 
What is your favorite weather? B. Why did you like it? Number C. Which fruits are available in your chosen weather? And number D. Which activities do you like doing in your favorite weather? Along with these guiding steps, here is a weather chart. In this chart, you can see the symbols of different weathers like sunny, cloudy, windy, rainy, stormy and snowy. You can use these symbols while writing about your favorite weather or maintaining your daily log of the local weather. Students, in our previous slide, I gave you the homework of writing my favorite weather. So here is a sample of my favorite weather. You can read it carefully and take guidance from this when you will be writing about your own favorite weather. So read the comprehension passage given below and answer the following questions. So let's start. Winter is my favorite season. I love everything about it. I like the cold weather which always makes the sky seem so blue. In summer, it's difficult to keep cool outside. But in winter, it's easy to keep warm. When I talk to my elder brother about winter season, we discussed how winter season occurs. Our geography teacher had also talked about the tilt of the Earth's axis is the most important reason why seasons occur. We have hot summers and cold winters because of the tilt of the Earth's axis. The tilt of the Earth means the earth will lean towards the sun or lean away from the sun. When the earth will lean towards the sun, it will be summer. And when the earth will lean away from the sun, it will be winter for six months. Come to the next paragraph. Cold weather brings people together. We yearn for warmth, love and connection. During the long winter holidays, we have a big family meal, endless gratitude and it's just seem like time moves a little bit slower than usual. When the first winter breeze blows through the trees, you can feel the magic in the air. Let's continue. Let's continue with the remaining paragraphs. Okay. Another reason why I love winters is that snow is just so beautiful. It covers everything like a fluffy white blanket and makes for a beautiful panorama. Snow is also better than rain because you won't get as soaked and you can actually do activities in it like skiing or throwing snowballs, making snowman. Next paragraph. The most enjoyable activities of this season are drinking something hot and find comfort in a mug of something warm. Read books. Be creative when it's too cold to go outside. Eat dry fruits and enjoy seasonal fruits. Make special winter dishes. Above all, share our food with those who need some. Now come to the last paragraph. All in all, from skiing and snowboarding in the mountains to calling up by the fire and enjoying some hot chocolate, 
Winter is the perfect time to get cozy and enjoy the beauty of the season. Whether you are traveling or enjoying holiday, celebrations in your own hometown, there is never a shortage of things to do in winter time. Students, I want to give you some homework from the sample of my favorite season as well. So here is your written work. First is, pick out five adjectives and use dictionary and thesaurus. Find their synonyms and antonyms. Number two, why do seasons occur? Number three, the writer likes the winter season. Write three reasons he give. Next, which activities does the writer like doing in the winter season? And the last is, write a paragraph about your favorite weather. This is your detailed work, students, and I have explained it in the previous slides. Students, in our today's language lesson, almost all the work is written. So before starting your written work, please stick to this success criteria. Your success criteria is listen to the audio track 4.3 or read it from the textbook and discuss the weather in your area. Next. Present your work in legible and neat handwriting. Then, maintain a chart of daily weather forecast in your city and use the sample weather chart. And the last is, take guidance from reading comprehension to write about your favorite season. Students, now is the time to jump up to English literature. In English literature, our novel is Swiss Family Robinson. We have covered its three units in the previous weeks. In this week, you will study Unit 4 first of all and then a bit of its exercise will also be done. So let's come to the topic. Let's see the learning outcomes of the literature lesson. First is to read the unit 4 carefully with loud voice. Second, to underline the difficult words. And the third is to read the instructions carefully and solve exercise 1 and 3 accordingly. Students, before starting your written work, you have to read chapter 4 loudly at your home so that you will be able to attempt your written work successfully. Now let's come to the exercise. Complete the following exercises on the given pages. Exercise 1. Read chapter 4 and match the two halves of the sentences. Write the correct number in the boxes. Students, this question is on page 50 of your reader, Swiss Family Robinson. Now, exercise 3. Choose the correct option to complete the given sentences. It's on page 50. 50 and 51. Now I would like to advise you how you would be successful in your written work. So here is your success criteria. First, read the chapter carefully. Second, Underline the difficult words and look up their meanings. 
And the third is, read the instructions given for question 1 and 3 and solve them accordingly. Hope so you would have enjoyed today's lesson. Keep up the hard work till we are back to school. Thank you so much.